whoa, this is I don't know what to think. Hey guys, welcome back to the Girl Gun London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm a dual American and UK citizen and today we're finding out how far 50,000 pounds could go on a property search in the United Kingdom. So the idea for this video came about because I, like many people, enjoy looking at property for fun. We are hoping to move at some point in time. I work remotely, could kind of go anywhere. So it'll be interesting to see what I can get for in this video, we're doing 50,000 pounds, but we're gonna increase that budget as we go along. But I thought, you know what? 50,000 pounds should get you something somewhere in the UK. So I am going to be on Rightmove. This video is not sponsored, but Rightmove, hit me up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen in just a moment. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to use the drawn area section because often it will only let's see property for sale what about if i just want all of the uk please enter an area um okay oh draw search here we go okay so do you think about let me draw the whole uk um let's start up here here we go okay apologies to the upper half of scotland i'm missing out but i'm doing what we can down here, make sure we get some Portsmouth. Um, I think I can move this in a little bit. Does right move include Northern Ireland? It says UK, so it had better. Okay, let's see. So I'm just gonna do the whole entire thing. And we'll see what we can get for 50,000 pounds. All right, I think we're good and we can even go up further now. I've learned how to use this tool. Ooh, okay, we'll go with that. So we're gonna click on view properties and I'm gonna make my maximum price 50,000 pounds. So it is a maximum of 50,000 pounds and we've already got some, some takers. So I'm not gonna do minimum beds or maximum beds or property type, because I just want to see what I could get. So let's start, let's start in the south and let's just see where we end up with this. So just we'll just click on something, oh, land, okay. So 50,000 pounds in the south of England could buy me two half acre parcels of land. Okay, I wonder if it has building permission. How do I tell that? Uh, uh, does it say I can build on it? Maybe that's something you'd have to apply for separately. Okay, so you can basically own 21,000 feet of land. It does not come with a home or any buildings and it's unclear uh, if you could ever build on it, but you could buy some land, 50,000 pounds. All right, off to a decent start. What about in Cornwall? 50,000 pounds could buy us a parking. Oh, two spaces, two spaces, 50,000 pounds. We could get freehold parking, one or a pair of freehold parking spaces. So maybe, okay, two spaces will be sold separately at 27,500 pounds or 50,000 pounds as a pair. So you could buy a parking space in Cornwall for 50,000 pounds. You could maybe um, put like a camping tent in it if you needed somewhere to stay. I mean, I've never bought a parking space, so I don't know the going rate for parking spaces, but now we know we can get some acreage of land, possibly couldn't build on it, could just look at it or sit in it, and a parking space. So far, England isn't doing that well. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, Minehead, I've been there before two bedroom park home for sale. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is an actual structure with actual um, walls. So that's good, so far so good. That's pretty nice inside. It's not too bad. I mean, it's a little outdated, but we could redo the cabinets. Nice, look at that. I think you've got like a sea view over here. 
bedroom, bedroom one, bedroom two. We could have multiple guests over, shower, and decking. And you could like have a party with all the other people who live here. So that's 40,500 pounds park home. Now, I don't think these are things, so you can't live in something like this year round, as far as I'm aware. The holiday park is open for 11 months and four weekends of the year. Um, so this is something that you would have to find somewhere else to go during the off season, but you would be allowed to spend some of your time here. So we could basically buy a holiday home for 40,000 pounds, which honestly, I might look into that. That's not, that's more than I expected. Um, okay, so let's go randomly clicking on this one. Another plot of land, rare to the market. Two Riverside, oh. I mean, is that not the bleakest picture you've ever seen? 44,000 pounds. It looks like the sidewalk is also underwater. And the color of that water, it's not great, but, oh no. Guys, this is, this is definitely a UK winter picture. One look at it and I bet this would be beautiful in the sunshine. There we go, that's better. See, I knew it. Um, okay, so you could buy this plot of land. Again, I don't know if anything about, it's the potential for mooring. So this is not for you to necessarily buy a house or uh, build a house, it's just to own the land and the ability to have a mooring, 44,000 pounds. Not gonna keep a roof over my head at night. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, should we go into London? What can we find for 50,000 pounds in London? I'm surprised anything is coming up. It's gonna be like one square foot. Where is that? No, that's too far out of London. Another like holiday home. Two, uh, this is not a London postcode. I'm confused. Okay, let's keep going in. Here we go. 35,000 pound parking, cheaper. Well, it's only one parking space, but kind of on par with Cornwall. So we could buy a secure parking space, 35,000 pounds. Not, but look at that gate. Okay. Again, not gonna put a roof over my head, but we could buy it. Seven gated car parking space is available. So we'd have six parking space neighbors and we could buy one for 35,000 pounds. I feel like I should do a whole video on how, how much a parking space costs. Okay, what about in Hackney? What can we afford in Hackney? Oh, parking's cheaper in Hackney, 25,000 pounds. Let's see what our spot's gonna look like. I don't think that's our spot. I think our spot is gonna be Nope, that's, all, that's the only picture. Okay. Maybe it's on top or underground. Yes, I think it's under this structure we can park for 25,000 pounds. It's getting cheaper. Okay, let's see if we go up a little towards Cambridge. No? Oh, there we go. One in Cambridge. We could buy a garage. 42,000 pounds. Okay, now we're talking. All right. That's the garage for 42,000 pounds? That looks like a shed. What? This is, this is just an overgrown backyard. What am I buying? Freehold sold with garage with additional land. Okay, right. So it would be this little shack. Great. And this land, what would you do with that for 42,000 pounds? That's gonna go ahead and be off the table. Let's see about Royal Leamington Spa. Withdrawn, but it was land for sale. Okay. How about Wales? What could we get in Wales for 50,000 pounds? <gasps> Farmlands, 9,000 pounds. Now we're talking 9,000 pounds as opposed to 50,000 pounds. We could buy this five times over. Look at this. We could buy that. We could have some sheep. We could have this little like tractor hut. You can tell I've never really been on a farm. 
Um, beautiful views, more sheep looking at you. Okay, 9,000 pounds. Comes with the shed. Ideal for small livestock. Healthy parcel of 15 acres. Huh. So could I build a house on this? Oh, there's currently no water or electricity connected. There is a right to lay a water pipe though, but I think it, I think it just has to be used as farmland. So again, not entirely sure this is going to put a roof over my head, but it's only 9,000 pounds. So that's something to consider. Let's go a little bit further north on this. Oh, price. Yeah, that's not telling me the actual price, but it is a log cabin. What about this one? Plot for sale. Another yard. Okay, let's head over into Shropshire. Ooh, one bedroom apartment for sale, but it's for sale by auction. So does that count in our search? Mm, I mean, I guess it does because it is for sale by auction, but wouldn't that mean that you'd pay a lot more than 40,000 pounds if it was by auction? I don't think this one counts. I think we're only gonna count it if it's not an, au an auction. Um, but let's kind of come back into England because I see lots of stuff here in a place called Leek. I wonder if there's a neighboring town called Potato. And this is some more land. So just land. So in a lot of England, 50,000 pounds is gonna get us a garage, a parking spot, or some land that we possibly can't do anything with. Let's see if we go into Stoke-on-Trent. One bedroom flat, but it's by online auction. I'm not, I'm not counting auctions for this. Here we go in the Peak District. More land, more land for sale. Okay, let's keep going further north. What about here? For sale by public auction. How do I change this off of auction? Filters. Don't show. Wait, must haves. No, don't show auction property. What? Why is right move so difficult to use? Don't show retire. Yeah, don't show a retirement home or a buying scheme. And also don't show me auctions, but I guess you're going to anyway. All right, let's continue up towards York. York has a garage, but it's a cheaper garage. So we could buy it for 25,000 pounds. This whole garage could be ours. It's got a nice blue door. That's a nice looking garage. This looks like possibly it's all about to um, fall down. It all looks very stained, but I'm sure it's well built. And we could buy two for the price of our budget. So that's an option. Do we think we're gonna actually be able to buy a property to live in in the UK for 50,000 pounds. I say we keep going, always go north, usually when you want cheaper prices. What's it? Ask and ye shall receive a two bedroom bungalow, which if you're not familiar with the term is just a house on one level, as Floridians would call it just a house here they call it a bungalow. So this is going to have two bedrooms, one bathroom. Mm, this doesn't count though. Occupiers must be aged 55 or over. I do not think that counts for the purpose of this video because I could not move in. So it has to be available for anybody, but I feel like we're going in the right direction. So let's go back to our map. Maybe let's go further north. We're going to be approaching the Scotland border at some point. Let's see what we can get here. So now we're in Northumberland and we're still looking at 45,000 pounds of land. Though that does look like something you might be able to build on. See, here we go. You could buy 45,000 pounds worth of land that has planning permission for one dwelling, i.e. Uh, you could build a two bedroom house for 45,000 pounds, where I feel like 45,000 pounds further south in England, got you land that you could simply take a picture of and that's what you paid 45,000 pounds for. So I feel like we're headed definitely in the right direction. Let's head on over here. Three bedroom, ground floor, flat for sale. 
we are in Scotland now. In fact, the one that I might have clicked on before also could have been in Scotland, but I forget where I clicked. But this is, we're now in Scotland. So in Scotland, I could get a three bedroom, a ground floor flat. And Scotland does offers over a certain price. So that's kind of like the minimum price that they put it at. But it's hard to know how much people would offer over. So it will count for the purpose of this video. I'm not loving the look of this flat, but we could, we could gut the inside, take out this carpet, take out this carpet, um, and turn this into a nice place to live after you just destroy the whole thing. Who, who is that texture? Who, who designed this? Oh my goodness. I feel like my 13 year old self designed this. I would have loved that. Oh. It would need some work. It would need some work. There's a dartboard though. I don't know if it comes with a dartboard and we've got some plants over here. And every single room has a different color carpet and walls. So listen, yes. Would it need some work? Yes. Is it easy? You know, we've got, we've paid 45, 49,995 pounds. So we could probably do some work on it. So that's very interesting. Ground floor flat in Dalmellington. I've never heard of Dalmellington, but maybe it's in my future. Okay, where else? So now we're in Scotland, maybe somewhere on the coast. Should we go somewhere coastal? Guide price three bedroom flat for sale, 25,000 pounds. Interesting. We only have one picture though. So not great to look at previously used as two flats, two levels and three bedrooms. Interesting. 25,000 pounds. So see, we've just crossed the border from England into Scotland. And now all of a sudden we can afford a three bedroom flat two bedroom apartment for sale, 32,000 pounds. Yes, please. I'm not gonna even try and pronounce this cause I'll say it wrong. And my Scottish viewers would be very disappointed in me, but we could buy a two bedroom apartment. This looks pretty bleak. I'm not gonna lie, but 25, 32,000 pounds, 500, 32,500 pounds. What is with this color of blue in Scotland? I mean, I'm not convinced that like a murder hasn't happened here. This looks like something you'd see on a Netflix crime documentary, but we could buy it. Let's keep going further north or let's let's head over. Actually, we haven't gotten to the Edinburgh area yet. What can we buy? Oh, here we go. In Edinburgh, similar to London, we can simply buy a parking space for thirty five thousand pounds. So we're going to have to keep looking much further out. Let's keep going into the Trussocks. Two bedroom chalet, 50,000 pounds. I'm liking this. Okay. This is probably going to be some sort of, it, it is a holiday home. So I'm not entirely sure how long out of the year you could live here, but you could buy this holiday home and a holiday home that we saw in England. And then you can just like, live in them half of the year. They can even offer eggs from the ducks on the estate. How friendly is Scotland? They're already offering you eggs from their ducks. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can get. Beautiful views. That looks really nice. Look at that. Every morning, just having your breakfast out there. Mmm, yeah. <gasps> this is nicer than my house. Look at that. That's a nice holiday home. I'm a fan. They've done it really. Oh, we're going to have to get rid of, get rid of the, the brown windows. What? Somebody tell me what is with brown windows in the UK? We got ours changed a couple years ago because when we first moved in, our house was built in like the eighties and they all had these who decided who, who decided that in a place that has a tendency to be a little bit gray 
and a little bit dark, particularly in the winter. Who was like, you know what color our windows should be? Brown. Who decided that? Anyway, this looks, how much is this? 50,000 pounds? I'm about to buy this right now. I don't care how it look and you've got a telephone booth. That is excellent. That is probably the best we've seen so far. Let's keep going north though, see what else. We've still got to check out Northern Ireland. Some more land. This is a development site though. Oh, here we go. 50,000 pounds in Scotland will get you this land with plans for a detached three bedroom home. This is, this is looking like a really good idea, I would say. Again, I think it, are, it already has planning, so you don't have to do anything. It's got planning for this home, one and a half story design, 50,000 pounds for the land, you'd have to pay to build the house, but overall, probably would be amazing compared to what you can, could get in England. Okay, let's go back to our map. We're gonna keep on going. Another plot of land. I mean, that's on the Isle of Skye, so I don't know if it has planning permission. We can keep working our way up. Another plot for sale, but it is a house site. What about up here? Land, 25,000 pounds for planning permission for a caravan. What about this? Detached, <gasps> detached house, detached house for sale for 37,000 pounds in the North of Scotland, in the village of Castletown. Probably knowing the way Scottish people say things, I probably pronounced Castletown wrong, even though it's what it looks like. It's probably got like all of the consonants are silent or something, but I believe kind of looks like a jail. I don't, what is this window? Um, but it's detached. Looks like it used to be an office because there's one of those like Wi Fi um, signs that you wouldn't put up in your own house, but it's detached. I feel like, again, gut job, but it's only 37,000 pounds. We could make it work. Okay, now let's go back to our map. I think it's time to see if Right Move does. Northern Ireland. They do. Okay. Here's what we could get in Northern. Mm, this is an online auction. That one doesn't count. Okay. Two bedroom. We could get a two bedroom terrace house for sale for 45,000 in Northern Ireland. Again, I don't know how I would feel about living here. Um, I feel like we should paint these different colors to kind of inspire like a seaside vibe, but let's see what the inside looks like. <sighs> I mean, this is, this is, um, it's got, it's got a stove kind of, um, they've got a washing up bowl. First thing I'd get rid of is the washing up bowl that comes with my 45,000 pound house. It's like weird, like does someone currently live here or did they stage this with kitchen things? Um, whoa, this is, I don't know what to think. This carpet, this carpet, where did they get that carpet? And this, is this, is the wall like melting off or is this like a look? I thought this was a peacock at first, but Somebody clearly can't be living here. This was this was a chair that they got from the local doctor's surgery. Interesting. Very interesting. 45,000 pounds though. So for 45,000 pounds, we could put... I think this was a doctor's office. It must be. No, maybe not? Maybe not, I don't know. Is it gonna tell us this? This is, I mean, wow. This needs to be on homes under the hammer. Okay, we're probably not gonna move in here, but I would like to see two generous bedrooms, charming, charming terraced home, which requires updating, you don't say. 
kitchen, dining area, living room, two generous bedrooms, and a bathroom suite. It just looks like somewhere that's been used as a doctor's office, kind of, but then in some places it doesn't. Hence why there's not really that many kitchen things. Like this is the waiting room, definitely. You can definitely tell that. This is like, this is the chill waiting room. This is like the meditation room where you listen to your meditations on the boom box. And then this is like the children's waiting room, which is why it's got some books over here and some like pictures on the wall and it's bright colors. Um, and this, the carpet stained because kids were in here. And as you know, you kind of just have to disinfect after kids being anywhere because they're very sticky. Um, and then this was like one of the consultation rooms where they could lay down if they needed to. Um, that's what I'm thinking with this place. Okay. I would say our best choice of all of these places that we saw was going to be the holiday home in Scotland. I would also say that I feel like Scotland did have the best for our money, which I feel like is going to be a trend throughout these videos. I didn't find somewhere that I could live all year round that I would, I would want to live all year round for under 50,000 pounds. But as we just saw with the Northern Ireland terraced home, that was 45,000 pounds. And that was, that was not a holiday home. It just needed a lot of love. Um, so it's possible you can buy somewhere in the UK for 50,000 pounds to actually live there. Uh, not really in England, um, not in the places that we clicked around. So if you live in a place in England where we could get more for our money for 50,000 pounds, let us know. This is a two bedroom caravan near York, which does look very nice but I don't think we could live in it year round, but it's very nice. I do like this if I could live here year round, but how many, that's, that's very nice. They've done a good job with that. 46,000 pounds, but how many months of the year would I be allowed to live there? Not entirely sure. We'll have to find out. Okay. So that brings us to the end of our what can we afford for 50,000 pounds in the UK video. Stay tuned because I will be doing more videos featuring everything from 500,000 pounds to 1 million pounds uh, to really see like when we can actually start to afford property in the southeast of England and not just a parking space. If you have any tips on where I should look for good property prices in the UK, uh, definitely comment below. Let me know your thoughts on some of these places we saw um, and I will see you guys next time.